My name is Scotty Survival, NSN number 19832345 niner niner. I have been being held captive in this survival shed. And I am instructed to talk to you guys. I have a ransom, or actually a challenge. The challenge is to have 5,000 videos made before the end of the year. I hope you guys are doing good and I'm glad to have you back and we're in the survival shed and I thought in this video I would just bring you guys along and show you what me and dad survival have been doing for the past three four months now I think we started back in July so to my new subs that don't know this me and Angel survival we had to move back in February and we bought a house I think it was like February 24th around that time and I had a shed on the property and it was not done but uh it's getting there, so that's what we've been working on. And uh, for you guys that remember some of the earlier videos that I did when we first moved into this home that we're living in now, I uh, did some PT videos, and it was still cold out, of course. And I would come out of the shed, put my suit on, and if you remember what it looked like then, there was no insulation really, there was no sheeting, nothing like that. There was a, like a couple outlets, and that was it. So I'm gonna show you guys what me and Dad Sorrel have been doing. So I'll also be talking about some upcoming videos that we're going to be doing this fall and this winter. So uh, stick along guys. Okay, we're going to start from the front door and we're just going to go straight back here. Oh, can't look over there yet. We'll go over there in a minute. <laughs> but I want to show you the first thing that I really want to get in this shed was a climate controlled unit. And this is what you call a PTAC. This is what is in hotel rooms, hospital rooms, and hospitals. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but um, it's an AC slash furnace unit. And what's great about this one is it has a heat pump as well as backup heat strips for winter time. So that's going to be interesting how that works this winter. Also, the biggest thing is, is getting all sheeted. I use 716 OSB and we use it all the way around. Ceiling as well. Actually, that part of the ceiling already had OSB. But uh, we just dropped the ceiling to match that part there. I got all the way around the back here. I still got room to put stuff over here. And then, so far, I'm, I've been putting one by fours up for my trim to go around all the spots. And one of the biggest challenges of getting the shed uh, put together, basically, is that nothing was square in the shed. <laughs> so. I will tell you what, that made life very interesting putting up OSB. It was a it was a real pain. But uh I had dad survival, so you know he's the brains of it. I just built I just build survival shelters, that's all I do. Okay, for lighting we have some LED eight foot strips. These are great. It's almost it's just like a studio in here or something. We got that for our lighting, and then basically we did we ran all the electrical and we just did conduit on the outside, just made it a lot easier. So if you ever got to work with it, it's a lot easier and just put it in, it's a lot easier. Otherwise you got to run it all behind the OSB and everything. So that's how we did that. And um, it all turned out really well. And I do have an extra light up here. This is going to be our little workshop light. And what you see right here in front of us on the workshop table is the future cold weather survival rig using the uh, LV88, and that's gonna be an awesome video. Can't wait till this winter to do it. It's an experiment, but that's for a later video. We're not gonna talk about that right now. It's a surprise in the making, but um, yeah. So basically, we are set to go. Now over here, 
I have two double doors. Now I have some towels down there and that's to keep water from coming in and the same on the outside of plastic because I still need to get a strip of metal to go underneath that to mount up and put it at an angle to keep water from coming in and to seal it off better. That's one more thing I do with that. And the outside I have to put uh, gutters on this thing. So, so basically other than that, I mean, this, sh this shed's ready to go. So we're really spending a lot of time out here, guys. And another thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a TV right up here. Gotta have a TV out here, you know? So uh, we'll get a TV mount and I gotta figure out what kind of TV I wanna get for there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be set up. Okay, now for the fun stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff I have put in here already. I've I've been kind of getting overexcited. I brought stuff in the shed before it's even done. I still got more stuff to get, but we're slowly getting there. So I am gonna show you the first thing here because this is the this is the coolest part of the video. So hold on a second. I'm gonna set you guys down and show you. Yeah, I don't mind the, the fly trap. <laughs> so here is the Hall of Fame of rucksacks and backpacks. And uh I just, you know, I, I try to figure out where I'm gonna put all my backpacks. <laughs> so we got a spot right here. I'll bring you guys up here a little closer to show you. But hold on one minute. I decided to go ahead and it was it was Dad's survival's idea, but to go ahead and put um the snowshoes up here on the wall. Cause basically before we moved, we rented a home. And so I couldn't really do much. I I couldn't mount stuff how I wanted to. So with my shit I can do however I want. So we got my snowshoes up on the ceiling there. Snow sleds right there. Got gloves, my shovel. I got lanterns on this side. All right, so there's the snowshoes up on the ceiling there. And the way that I mounted these is I got paracord right there. And I just got a little hook right there. And I decided on the back here, I got these door handles. And these work great for holding the uh, the holding the ends in there so they could just come out swing out like that so that was really that worked out pretty good and then similar with the 1980s snowshoes the military magnesium ones I just did a coat hanger there and then I just use a uh, some nylon strap so here we have all of our backpacks and actually, this is another one I'm working on. This is actually Michael Survival's backpack here. And uh, it's the NATO Hungarian backpack. But I bought a FILBE harness waist belt. And I want to replace the waist belt that is on this one, which I already took it off. I got to put it on this Alice pack frame. So that's another project. And then the rest of the backpacks. Then all the way back here, well, well, I got more room back here for more backpacks. Hmm, I gotta find a reason why I need another backpack. <laughs> so I basically got all that room, and then back here I'll store stuff. And I've uh, just, it's not finished yet. And you can see this OSB up here, I just used an angle piece to already had cut. I'm just gonna trim that out with some trim, you'll never even see it. And then for now, until maybe I change it later, but we have our our boots all down here. So uh, that's just where I keep the boots. Over here is where we're hanging all of our clothes. And then up on the top shelf, I have just miscellaneous stuff, canteens and stuff like that. So I'm just basically trying to piece stuff together. So I'll bring guys over here and show you that a little up, up a little closer. Uh, so over here, we got like our... You know, I got a DCU Gore-Tex suit, British DPM wind suit, or wind jacket, parka, awesome. Uh, I can't remember what that's called. <laughs> oh, Belgium, that's a Belgium Jigsaw Camel Gore-Tex. Got our Gorkas here, which you can't get no more. Um, I mean, at least it's, you can, but they're hard, hard, it's hard to do, getting the real ones, because uh, since the, well anyways, can't get them in Russia right now from the US. But uh, yeah. Just got all of our outfits here for camping, video purposes and survival. Pants and stuff like that. There's those really cool uh, Eastern pants I came across at Rocker Army Surplus. Got a really good deal on that. Got some of our ponchos up here. Got the custom made pack we made back in my old house. 
And then just basically up here I have just canteens and stuff like that. And then below it I have containers with sleeping bags and stuff like that. Basically, I'm at the point where I need to figure out how I'm going to hang more stuff in here and, and get my sleeping mats in here and sleeping pads and stuff. So, you know, basically I'm just decorating right now. <laughs> but, um, I might not be able to bring everything back over here, so I might be selling stuff. So that, I'll let you guys know if I do. So, um, but yeah, it's all coming together. Then over here, I already showed you guys, but this is just our, our work area. But um, I didn't mention to you guys, but I, I put the shelving up here, and I got shelving down here I put up as well. So we got two things of shelving, and a box up there hold stuff. And then I put all this shelving up. Uh, me and Angel Survival put all this up, so I, she helped me out with that. So, yep. Over here we got a little deep freezer for uh, Angel Survival. Probably end up, gonna end up putting up some shelves over here. Probably put some shelving up over there. So that's pretty much it guys. I wanted to um, show you guys what I've been doing. I haven't really been doing a lot of filming and uh, it just, it's just a lot to do and I need to focus on the shed, especially if working with my dad's stuff too. We need to focus together and get that electrical stuff put in, get the sheeting up. It's just, and, and we did it over the summer, so it was it was pretty hot out. <laughs> so, but we got it pretty much done. Just going to do the fine details next. So with that said, guys, on to the next part of this video, and that is some upcoming videos. What we're going to be doing this fall and winter. Okay, so we're going to talk about some upcoming videos. And you know, I I don't do YouTube full time. I have a full time job, so I try to do what I can. Now, my videos, I don't do, I haven't, I haven't done a lot of videos like I used to. I maybe do one every two weeks or so. If I can get one every week, I will try, but it's just, it's, it's just not easy right now. <laughs> and uh, the thing, and the reason why is because I own a house before I rented a house, so I didn't have a lot of chores to really worry about. Now I own a house and I got work to do. <laughs> but um, I'm still going to try at least get one video every two weeks out for you guys. If I get one a week, I'll try. But with that said, upcoming videos. Sorry, to be fair, I get to it. So upcoming videos. I need to do a uh, dynamic survival fire starter video. I want to specifically just do one on his fire starter because I really like the idea of it. But I want to try it out in some sketchier conditions. So uh, that's going to be a video. And let's see. I need to go back out to the foxhole. I need to dig it a little deeper, and I need to dig a hole in the side for a fire pit. So that's gonna be an upcoming video. Um, now, I did buy a cold weather survival canteen. I bought uh, one, and then I bought a Camelback uh, Skillcraft cover for a very super rare canteen. And I don't have the canteen, but I have the cover and cup. And uh, it's like super rare. <laughs> so I might be doing a video on that when it gets closer to winter. And then other than that, I, you know, videos from now until winter, I'm not exactly sure what else I'll be doing during that time, but I'll be doing videos, of course. Oh, jungle cord video. I might be doing one more jungle cord video with my jungle cord. Um, so yeah, between now and winter, those will be some of the videos we'll be doing. Now, winter, is upon us. I know today is actually October 1st and fall started like a week ago, but winter will be here before you know it. So my idea or my my idea and plans are, which they're gonna be, I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. And you know, so the plan is now to start a cold weather survival rig um, series like we did over the summer. So I know over the summer I didn't get as many videos made as I wanted to. And I know some of you guys wanted certain videos and I. I wasn't able to fulfill that, and, I, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying my best, but um, just bear with me. Maybe one day I'll be full-time YouTuber. <laughs> um, but Cold Weather Survival Rig Series, we are going to start that up this winter, and I'm using, I'm actually re-bringing back to life, I'm resurrecting the 
experimental LV-88 uh, rig that the military experimented with in the 80s. And we're going to use that for our cold weather survival rig. But um, we're going to have videos on that. And I know the first video we're going to do is putting the rig together in the survival shed. So uh, that'll be the first video to start off the series. But uh, I think it's going to be a good series. The Farmer's Almanac is saying it's gonna be it could be a bad winter could be so so but you know i live in illinois so it's a hit it's a hit or miss with us last winter was it was horrible so anyways that's the upcoming videos that we're going to be doing and uh yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> okay guys i'm going to get off here i got some stuff to do finish up the rest of the day i don't know when this video will be uploaded but just figured I'd bring in for a little quick video, give you an update on the survival shed. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. We'll see you in the next video. So uh, please leave your comments below. I love talking to you guys. I enjoy having you guys part of my channel. Uh, it's just a great thing. So I appreciate you guys. Make sure you tell them Scotty Survival sent you. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you get all my notifications. And uh, yeah. Tell them it's got a survival sent you. <laughs> All right, guys. I will chat at you later. God bless and take care. All right? Bye.